Hello, Dharma friends. Very nice to see you today. Will you please place your palms together and join me in Gosho? These were the final words of Shakyamuni Buddha. After I leave this world, make the Dharma your place of refuge. Make yourself a light. All things in this world are impermanent. Follow the Dharma diligently. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Well, it's uh, after the middle of January. Um, I have to say that it's been quite an extraordinary month so far, hasn't it? Uh, the first month of 2021 is nearly over, and uh, we've seen a lot of strange things uh, happen in our country. We started off the month uh, with the uh, presidential election still contested. And then uh, shortly after the first of the month on the 6th, we saw the uh, riots that occurred at the U.S. Capitol. And I think for many of us that took us to the core, it was something that we didn't believe could possibly happen, and yet it did. And it's going to take time to come back from that, to come back from the darkness that was um, that whole event. And then this past Wednesday, um, we saw a shed of light. We saw the inauguration of President Joe Biden. We saw him take the oath of office. And we saw some amazing things um, happen on that day and some wonderful speeches by many people. More about that later. Um, meanwhile, all of this is going on while the pandemic continues to rage and take lives. In fact, January is expected to be the deadliest month of the pandemic here in the United States. And we've even surpassed all those who died from our country during World War II. So there are still some dark days ahead. So the passage I just shared at the beginning of my Dharma message were the final words spoken by Shakyamuni Buddha as he lay on his deathbed. Uh, he was 80 years old. He had been sharing the Dharma for over 45 years at that point. And as he lay there dying, he said to his disciples a few things. Remember that all things are impermanent. Practice the Dharma diligently and make yourself a light. I can imagine at that moment, the people who were Shakyamuni Buddha's followers were grieving, scared, and uncertain of how life would be without him. They most likely felt that dark days were ahead. But when it's dark, there is light. And we need the light to show us the way when things are tough. And so whether it's the passing of loved ones or a teacher like Shakyamuni Buddha, or things seem to be falling down and breaking all around us, in our country and in the world, there is light if we can look for it. So where does that light come from? Well, for me, I think the words of the Buddha, make yourself a light, means that that light comes from within us, how we conduct ourselves in the world, how we support one another, how we listen to one another, even when we do not understand. I'm very fond of something that a teacher once told me a long time ago, Listen to understand. Me, that means that I may not agree with the words I'm hearing initially, but I try really hard to figure out that person's point of view or where that person's coming from historically, culturally. Listening to understand helps to bridge the divide between people. And sometimes our hearts can change when we do that. I know I have changed a lot in my 50 plus years of life. And I think it comes from listening to understand. 
So when Shakyamuni Buddha spoke those words to his disciples, and specifically the line about make yourself a light, when we understand others, when we work hard to see things as they are, when we share the Dharma with one another or with others in our lives, we can become that light, that light of the all-embracing wisdom and compassion that comes from the Buddha. And when we permit ourselves to be that light, we can help change the world for the better. I think that's what Shakyamuni Buddha was trying to impart. And from time to time, I try to recall those words because they are important. From time to time, I can feel darkness enter my heart. And then I remember those words about making myself a light. So during the inauguration ceremonies this past Wednesday, there was a young woman. Her name was Amanda Gorman. She stood up and gave an eloquent poem. Uh, Amanda was born in Los Angeles. She attended Harvard. And she was a 2017 Youth Nobel Laureate for Poetry. And what a remarkable young woman she is. So she stood up to give an inspiring poem on Wednesday. And many of the lines were quite incredible. But at the very end of her poem, there are just a few short lines that spoke directly to my heart, and I hope to many other people, but it reminded me of the words of the Buddha. I'd like to share those with you. And they go like this. When the day comes, we step out of the shade, aflame and unafraid. The new day blooms as we free it. For there is always light, if only we're brave enough to see it. If only we're brave enough to be it. For me, those words, mean that not only do we need to see the light, it is there. But you also have to be brave enough to be the light. And to me, that speaks directly to Shakyamuni Buddha's final words. And when I think about the Dharma and how it survived the last 2,500 years, it's because there have been people who have been brave enough to see that light and brave enough to be that light for others. And I don't think you need to be a Buddhist to <laughs> share light with the world. So as we continue through these dark days that are beginning to lighten with the dawn of hope, and the days become more gray rather than dark, please remember to be that light for others. Brighten their days with a smile. Listen to understand. And if you can, practice the Dharma as diligently as you can. Thank you so much for listening, Dharma friends. And would you please, once again, place your hands together and join me in Gatsho. From Shakyamuni Buddha. After I leave this world, make the Dharma your place of refuge. Make of yourself a light. All things in this world are impermanent. Follow the Dharma diligently. Namo Ami Dabutsu. 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 Thank you so much for listening. See you soon. Take care. Bye.